full eight marks you should write the formulas steps units and then the final figure all these things carries mark so today we are solving this question hi myself smriti gupta and you are watching simple civil so in this question there are few forces which are inclined one udl is there and there is a couple also the first thing what we are going to do is making a line diagram and simplifying this question resolving all the forces the second thing what we are going to do is write down all the formulas since they are asking magnitude we'll be writing the formula for magnitude direction and resultant since all the calculation are been made in either x direction or y direction we will be resolving all the forces in x and y direction and we'll be identifying and calculating problem so step by step we'll be taking up the things so the first thing what we are going to do is write down all the formulas and as you can see i have written all the formulas here the second thing what we are going to do is making the line diagram always make a simplified version of whatever problem is being given so your calculation mistakes would be less and for each and every steps marks are there so if in between you are making some mistake because of the step marking you will be getting more marks do not try to skip the steps try to write down the units and formula you can resolve the forces by placing your tip of the pen on the force arrow and you can resolve it in x and y direction without lifting the pen and in this way you can find out the desired direction is it upwards or downwards you can identify that now let's see what is the formula for resolving the forces so i am taking a small example i am putting a force with a theta degree from the x axis so here we are this is the force and this is the theta degree which is inclined from x so from wherever x is your theta is given you have to take that force as cos so since it is inclined from x this will be cos theta and other one will be sin theta this is the most common mistake what students do they get confused in sin and cos and they put the things in the opposite manner and lose the marks here what we are doing is we are writing all the formula the formulas we are going to use in this question in the starting only we are going to write it because for this particular step two marks are assigned the resultant formula is summation fx square plus summation fy square whole root and this is your direction formula now the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to assign resolve all the forces and we are going to write it here only so the first what we are going to start is with this force so this is the formula what we are going to use we have already discussed how to assign a cos or sin from wherever theta is given you have to put it cos so in this question it is being given from the x direction and this force is going in the negative x direction so here i am we are going to write it first first so this one will be sin because theta is being given from the x direction so this will be your sin and this one will be your cos so we are going to write it like that this one will be your udl into the total distance what it is given so we have to just simply multiply 10 into 2.5 that will be coming out to be this much 4 is totally in the x direction since theta is given from the x we are going to put this cos and this one is sin this is already given as a couple no need to do that this is purely in the x direction theta is given from the x direction so your x component will be cos other one will be sin so coming on to the next one force is given as a triangle so i am drawing that triangle in the same fashion same manner as it is been provided in the question and in here we have to find out the theta i am using 
tan theta that is perpendicular upon base and we have to simply identify what is the value of theta so perpendicular we will be putting up 3 and your base is 2 put up in the calculator and find out the theta simplifying and writing down all the values of the forces with the incline theta and here we are we have written all the forces now the next step is we'll be identifying all the forces which are purely in the x direction and the forces which are purely in the y direction forces which are going in the negative x direction will be considering it as negative because the sign convention what we are taking here is positive x is your positive so the forces which we are going to identify that it is going in the negative x direction will be marking as negative starting from this one so this one is your negative force which is coming up next one is going in the positive x direction next one is also going in the positive x direction the next one is also going in the positive x direction here simply you have to find out that the forces are going in positive or negative direction and sum up all the forces leave the moment or couple which is given it is a moment it is not a force the students what the commit mistake is they write down this couple also this is not a force this is a couple so like similarly you have to find out all the forces and you have to just simply sum up coming on to this one so just simply put this value in the calculator and you this is your final answer the same thing what we are going to do here is with fy so identify all the forces which are going in the purely y direction so what sign convention we are taking is upwards is positive so whatever forces which are going upwards you have to just mark it positive here we are writing down so this one is positive it is going upwards the next one is going downwards so i'm writing it negative the next force this is pointing upwards so we'll be putting up positive the next one this is pointing downwards so we'll be putting up negative the next one is positive because it is pointing out upwards so like this we'll be putting up all the forces at the end you should always count the number of forces because in these many forces there are chances that you may miss one or two forces sum up everything in the calculator and write down the answer with the units always remember to write down the units and this is your final fy summation fy now i'll be putting these in the formulas and we'll be finding out the resultant so resultant is your fx square plus fy square under root so simply put this in the formula and identify the value of the resultant put this values in the calculator and find out the final value or magnitude of the resultant so here we are this is our resultant now coming on to the direction that is 10 inverse fy by fx simply put the things in the calculator and you have to press the degree button so that the value whatever it is coming will be converted into degree so here we are i am putting this diagram here so this is representing your resultant with the direction this complete will give you theta and r so this is your theta and this one is your r this complete will give you magnitude and direction so next point is we'll be taking the moment at the a point because for the position we need the x intercept y intercept for that we need a moment so for that one forces are going in the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction in addition to that you have to identify what is the perpendicular distance because moment means force into perpendicular distance so in this question the perpendicular distance is this much so we'll be multiplying the force into the perpendicular distance and we got this as a moment and clockwise we are taking as positive anti-clockwise we are taking negative so simply identify and put positive negative multiplied with the distance whereas these are the forces which are coinciding with a when we are extending the forces this is being coinciding with a and there is no perpendicular distance so these forces will get cancelled out so what we are going to do is we need a perpendicular distance so for this one the perpendicular distance will be this much so this is your three 
so we'll be putting up the distance as 3 and this is going again in the clockwise direction so positive so i'm putting a positive force into the perpendicular distance and distance here is 3 if you want me to make any video on your favorite topic please post it or write it in the comment box thank you so next one we are going to see that this one is going in the anti clockwise direction and the perpendicular distance is 6 so anti clockwise and the distance is 6 so we are going to write it like that the next one this is going in the clockwise direction and the perpendicular distance is 2 because here this distance they have given as 2 see this is 2 so perpendicular distance only we have to take perpendicular distance because when we'll be making this force on to a the perpendicular distance what we are going to identify is 2 and this is going in the clockwise direction so positive this is itself a couple no need to multiply it with any distance so simply we have to put it positive 10 because it is in the clockwise direction so here we are next thing is your 8 sine 60 degrees so this is also going in the clockwise direction and the perpendicular distance is from 8 till that point that is 16 the next one is 25 this is going in the anti-clockwise direction so we are putting it negative you just backward proceed it and find out the perpendicular distance so perpendicular distance is 1.25 here is that force and the perpendicular distance is 1.25 and it is going in the anti-clockwise direction the next one is this one the perpendicular distance is 2.5 and this is going in the anti-clockwise direction the next one what i am going to put is okay this one this is your total distance so total distance is 20 the next one is uh, this is your clockwise direction and the total distance is 2.5 so here we are we have identified and calculated all the forces all the moments are come now just simply put that thing in the calculator and find out the final distances so just proceed it whenever you are confused just proceed it and make it near to a so that you can find out the perpendicular distance we'll be using this formulas position formulas i have already written just calculate summation ma put that in the calculator we have everything simply put that thing in the calculator and find out the final answer the students face this problem of not able to calculate the moment properly or not summing up the moment properly so if your moment is not coming correctly or d x intercept y intercept everything will be incorrect so be very careful while substituting the values as well calculating the final answers so here we are we have calculated d x intercept and y intercept the last step what most of the students do not plot and they miss one mark or something they do not plot this what you have to do simply plot this in the figure and the distance from the origin and perpendicular to this line is your d so you have to make a perpendicular line from the origin to this line that would be your d so thank you for watching and please like and subscribe if you like my video